see what you're wearing. There's nothing beneath it. Forgive me for staring. Forgive me for breathing. We might not know why. We might not know how. But baby, tonight we're beautiful now. We're beautiful now. The episode of Pokemon F for Sapphire Shiny Lock. Recording this pretty late. Then recording this pretty late on in the day. It's nighttime when I'm recording this, but I decided to go ahead and record this. Now that I got the shiny, it took me a little bit of time to train up the shiny ropes. I didn't get it all the way to level 30, though. But here's the team. Ruby, level 30, Rock Slide, Iron Head, Headbutt, Bulldoze, Quick Claw, Molly, the shiny Curlier. Only got her to level 28 because training her was taking forever. For confusion, draining kiss, magical leaf, and calm mind, synchronous, holding the extra belt. Don't know why she doesn't have that many super effective moves, so I don't know why I gave her the expert belt, but I just did. And up next is Magneton, who I will evolve. Once I get surf, I can go to the new Marvel and use a rare candy and evolve. And evolve. Golden Mag, the Magneton. Has free lives, has free lives, has free lives. And then up next is Kim, the shiny swallow who only has two lives. If you saw the last episode, you saw that she got destroyed against a Torkoal um, in the fire type gym. Her aerial is quick attack, still ring, defog, guts. Orangeberry, then Cupcake, the Mars Stomp, the Water Gun, Bulldoze, Mud Bomb, and Rock Slide. And one person said I should keep the Shiny Crobat in the PC for now and add it if anything happens to Shiny Swallow. I don't know what the next Shiny is going to be yet. I haven't decided. If Roach was a male, I was going to make it a Gallade, but it turned out to be a female, so. Accuracy. I'm not sure if I'm going to battle all the trainers in here or not. But yeah, I'm recording this at night time because the training for Roach was taking so long. I decided to stop at 28. I have the experience here on, so. She should still get some level. Should get some experience. Why we take on why I take on the trainers in the gym. So if I'm a little quiet, that's because it's nighttime. Just letting you guys know. If you guys think I'm talking very quietly, that's why. But I trained up to like level 30. I felt level 30 would be good, good taking on the gym trainers. His highest level is level 33. But I feel like I should get a decent amount of experience taking on these trainers. Yeah, I don't know what the next shiny is gonna be. Yeah. And this episode should be going up on Saturday. Yeah, it should be going up on Saturday.
I'm going to either edit this tonight so it can go up. Edit this tonight since it's going up on Saturday. I will edit it first thing in the morning because I usually don't upload the videos until like the afternoon. And I think this shouldn't take that long. I don't use since I don't upload in like till the afternoon. But I'm probably edit it tonight if I'm not tired after recording this, which I probably won't be because I'm not tired right now. And I'm pretty sure I won't be tired in 20 minutes if I'm not tired right now. Wrong Pokemon. I thought I went down to Marsh Stump. <laughs> That's why I click Super Potion. But I didn't realize I was still on Ruby. Um, I go ahead and go recover. Not sure if I'm gonna battle all these trainers or not. I may just get some experience since I'm still like low leveled. Well, not I'm three levels lower than his strongest Pokemon, and I kind of want my Aeron to um get to a higher level. So it can take hits better. Because my best bet would be Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, I think is how you pronounce it. It's Aaron and Aaron. That's going to do nothing. <laughs> so I think I'm going to battle the rest of these trainers. So I can get some experience. Because I believe you evolve into two, well, two levels. It's about to be one level. Because you're almost level 31. So I think I'm going to get you to level 32, so you can take hits better. Battle this trainer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna battle all these trainers so I can get a good amount of experience before I take on the gym leader. But the experience here should be up. And switching out. This thing has a fighting type move like revenge. And probably cross combat. I don't think it has cross combat at this level, but I'm pretty positive it has revenge. That's what I thought. A crit. A critical hit. I'm not sure if a bulldoze will kill.
I thought that was gonna kill. At least it didn't go for revenge. Jum, you don't have any special moves. You're a physical attacker. Why well, low special defense? Well, I guess for your teammate. I guess it would help for a special attacker teammate like um, Molly. But yeah, I definitely don't know what the next Pokemon have a shiny hunt for would be next. Go to the defense room. Get a decent amount of experience before I take on Norman. And then I go back to the Pokemon Center and heal before I battle him. Of course it's a Lion. <laughs> Lion already has pretty good defense. Fairy Slipes. Go to strength. Once I get to like, you get um, Ruby to level 32, I think that would be good. I just want it to be evolved so it can take hits better. I'd be just one. Switching out, because it has revenge. Cupcake, come in. And after this, I would train up um, Molly to level 30. It was just taking forever to train up from level 4 to level 30. So I was getting tired. And I was like, you know what, forget it. Let me just record the episode. Since the Shiny Lock episode, I planned on getting... Up on Saturday once I got the shiny. Hopefully, can up. It may be late. Go up late Saturday, maybe. Not sure if I outspeed or red. I know I lowered speed, but I'm not sure if we're gonna outspeed or not. So hill up. It didn't lower my defense. No, it did. I was not trying to run.
Oh, I went for ribbons this time. Pretty sure I outspeed. Okay. Just like I thought. There was no way a Zangoose was faster than a Magneton. Especially because that other Zangoose was slower so anyway, so. You should have been faster. Your special attack is garbage, so. But I want to protect. No, I never. I'm not gonna really use protect. I'm... What's next? I think one more trainer should get us to level 32. And then I believe it will be gym leader time. Seventeen minutes in. These episodes are usually twenty five minutes. And it only seems longer because of the outro, but it's usually just a 25 minute episode. Sometimes longer depends on all of what I'm doing in this episode, but this shouldn't be longer than 25 minutes. I'm gonna cut out the part of me going to the hill, so that would give us, save us time. This should give us a level. No. Alright, but one more train of shows. I did the defense room. This should be the last one. I think I bowed all the trainers now, actually. So yeah, after this, I'm gonna go heal up and then take on the gym leader. If we don't get the evolution, that's fine. But I do feel like my best bet, since I don't have a fighting type, is going to be Ruby. I think I called Ruby a guy earlier when I said I want Ruby to evolve. I think I said he. I might as not. I don't know. No, I think I said I want Ruby to evolve and not him to evolve. This will get us the evolution. This definitely should get us a level and we should evolve. Because I'm pretty sure it's level 32. And then Agron is level 47. You get Agron at level 47, I believe. And I have the Mega Stone, so once it evolves into Aggron, it can Mega Evolve. Okay, just as I thought, level 32. This might be a little bit longer than 45 minutes because of this evolution that I'm going to do the gym battle. Yeah, I definitely don't know who the next shiny's gonna be. I 
Well, I'm going to go heal and then take on the gym leader. I'll be right back. Okay, gym leader. I know his Pokemon's going to go for a retaliate. I'm probably going to switch out to Magneton because it has Sturdy. So, retaliate is enough to make a one-shot. Sturdy will activate, and then it will heal back up with a Orange Bear. Because I don't have any Citrus Bears. I just have Orange Bears. But that's the strategy. Probably going to switch out to Magneton. Expecting a retaliate. But I'm going to lead with Ruby. Ruby should be able to take these normal attacks. Because it's resistant and it has good defense. And I'm pretty sure Vigoroff might have a fighting type move. Not 100% sure. I know Zangoose has one because... <laughs> I used a Zangu several times before, but I'm not sure if Vigoroth has fighting type moves or not. I think it could learn Brick Break and stuff, but I don't think it would have that. Let's see. Now that I want to start this off. That I want to try to get as 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 yeah, Flint with Rock Slides or Lowered Speed or French with Headbutt. I'm not sure how fast it is. I'm gonna go, but I know it has truant, so. So it's faster. Okay, so let's lower its speed. I have quick claw also, so. Gotta switch out so you don't fall asleep. So yeah, this episode's most likely gonna be longer than 25 minutes. Once I beat him, I'm ending off the episode. And then the next episode, do the little cutscene. Actually, I might want to do that in this episode. Because I'm probably gonna shiny hunt once I end this episode. Or I might shiny hunt after the next episode. I'm not 100% sure. But I believe I'm going to switch back out to Ruby.
and expecting this to go for retaliate. And sturdy will activate if it isn't does a whole lot of damage to where it's enough to one shot. Sturdy will activate. Bang attack, okay. The slacking will go for retaliate. I can heal up and sturdy will activate because it will heal us up all the way. Alright, this level up will. Keep you. I'm gonna heal you up. Slack. <laughs> okay, Retaliate's not gonna do a lot of damage since it didn't use it on the first turn that the Pokemon got knocked out. It does damage if the Pokemon it comes uses it right after its opponent partner ally Pokemon gets knocked out, so Gonna wake you up. This stream battle is going actually extremely well. I don't think it would have gone this well if I didn't have Magneton with Sturdy and plus it was stupid and didn't even go for retaliate. And if I didn't have Ruby evolve before taking on the gym leader. I'm so glad I did that. That I battled more trainers to get that evolution. Because definitely Ruby wouldn't have been able to do this without evolving. The defenses would not have been that great. But yeah, I think I'm going to do this little cutscene with Wally. So I don't have to deal with it when I try to go shiny hunting. But I'm not sure what I'm going to hunt for next anyway. I was thinking maybe a grass type would be a good idea, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I have go. I was going for Roach because I was hoping for a shiny Gallade, but it was a female, so it's going to be a Gardevoir. It would be a Gardevoir, but it's fine. Maybe I get a different fighting type, maybe. Maybe I get a Mega Metagen. Who knows? But you guys let leave me suggestions. Like I always take you guys' suggestions when it comes to what I should shiny hunt for. I went with Mudkip because I really wanted to shiny hunt Mudkip anyways. And a lot of you guys agreed with Mudkip, so
I was going to, a lot of people want me to hunt for Plessel, but instead I got Magnemite. To be honest, I want the Magnemite more than the Plessel. But Plessel isn't bad. I used the Miner in the Wonderlock before, which you guys seen. That Miner took down a flying type gem and ate an earthquake. Oh, this cutscene happens anyway. You don't have to walk out the gym. He takes you out the gym. So this episode has been 31 minutes because I battled extra trainers to get that evolution. It would have been shorter if I didn't do that, but <laughs> that I needed that evolution to beat um, Norman. Definitely needed it. And I got Surf, which I would teach to March Stomp, which is a terrible move. Surf is not a terrible move. It's a good move. It's just terrible on a Swamper because Swamper is physical, not special. But Surf is way better than Water Gun. <laughs> That's for sure. That's why I meant by it's a terrible move. It's a terrible move to put on a physical type Pokemon like Swampert. But yeah, definitely leave me some suggestions of what you think I should shiny hunt for next. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hunt for it right away or if I'm going to save it, do a few episodes before the next shiny hunt. Because it takes a little while to get to the next gym. So that's why I'm debating, should I do it now after start hunting now? Not directly right now, but... Before the next episode, record the next episode. Or should I do a few episodes before I get the next shiny? I think I might do two. I might do this episode and then another episode. And when I get close to the Weather Institute, I'm going to probably shiny hunt. I think that's what I might do. Do... The next episode with the Latios or Latios. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's Latios. I think it's Latios. By the Institute, I think I would do the shine, Shining Hunting then. I think that's how I'm going to do it. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to go ahead and teach Surf why I end off this episode. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this episode or if you've just been enjoying this. um, Just been enjoying the Shiny Lock. It's greatly appreciated, and it helps out the channel a lot. Your support is so appreciated, and like I said, it helps out the channel. And if you ever just want to talk and hang out, you can join. feel free to join my Discord. The link to my Discord will be, the be down in the description up below. And of course, don't forget to answer the comment question of the day, which is... Actually, I don't know what it's going to be right now. But you will definitely see on the layout like you always do. And if you want to know when I upload a new video, subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. I see what you're wearing. There's nothing beneath it. Forgive me for staring.